Hello, the game has started. It's my opponent to go first. I have the blank, which is great. The rest of the rack, not so great. My opponent started with a bingo, Gentile, which I think takes an S, but I'm not 100%. Now he's provided an N, so I do have the ING ending. If I take out G and I, well, let me put these on the board and see if anything springs to mind. I think the blank would be a vowel. Nope, I can't see anything there. So how to sort this rack out? Well, I could play Vading through the N, which would get rid of most of my junk. Am I missing something? I've got the ED ending. Divagator's good. I don't have the letters for that. Okay. Now the trouble with Vading is it takes an E at the front. And it doesn't score very much. But I think since I'm behind I will keep the board open. And with the blank I want to leave myself with the best possible. Ratcliffe. Okay. Well, I've drawn the Q. I've got A and D, so through an I I would have Cade or Caddy. And onto a T I would have Cat. I'm just wondering if there is a bingo. If there is, the blank would be a U. And I've got Quad with OPR. Can't see anything there. So not a not a great start really. I'm behind and I've got a tricky rack. However, I do have the blank, so if I can jettison the Q, I should be in reasonable shape. Now onto an H, I would have cough, Q O P H, and that would leave a decent rack leave. Nowhere for the Q at the moment, apart from through this central eye. Which is fine, I simply want to get rid of the queue. I don't really I'm not too bothered about the score. I don't think I can score enough to justify burning the blank. This looks pretty close to an eight letter bingo, but I just haven't seen one. I don't think quadruped is good, it would be quadruped. Now Gentile either takes nothing or it takes an S. And I think it I think it does take an S. Gentiles sleeting stealing. Vading, I don't think, does take an S. I think it's just an E at the front. My opponent taking a while. If he has another bingo, I'll be a long way behind. I'm just wondering if there are other Q plays which I haven't considered. I've got three of the letters of Trank. Now, through the I, what would be better, Chi or Cade? Playing just the Q, keeps quite a balanced rack, and Cade burns the two, or two of the more bingo-y of the remaining tiles. So possibly Chi better. The A is quite a useful tile to have. However, turning over more tiles increases my chances of drawing an E, which is helpful for a bingo and also helpful for hooking Vading. Okay, well, the central I remains available. Has my opponent provided anything? No. 
So, G or Cade? I think I'm going with G. Okay, now that looks quite promising. I've got teardrop through the E of Gentile and also through, well, through both E's of Gentile. So I am bingoing. But what would be best? Now, if Gentile does take an S, what do I have with the blank as an S? Don't think I have anything. Now, teardrop stops one square short of column 15, so isn't ideal. What about a double-double in column 5 through the A evading? I think there could well be one there. It can start one or two squares above. So do I have anything beginning PRA? Okay, what about just one square above? I've got adaptor on my rack, so I've got adaptors through this A. That's not a double double. Now, what about words beginning pat? Sixteen minutes on my clock. I could have plays beginning DR, but I think the P is likely to be at the beginning, or more likely to be at the beginning. Okay, I can't see anything. Now, how about just playing adaptors rather than teardrop? That's 77 points. Yeah, I think that's a better play. I'm not putting vowels next to premium squares and I'm not opening up triple word lanes. Not great. However, I have reduced the deficit to just 12 points. I've got few R on my rack, which would sort out the duplicates and get rid of the non bingo -y F and U. I haven't seen anywhere for that at the moment. Well, apart from column nine, next to the final E of Gentile, that's not gonna score very much. I don't think there's a, a bingo here. Now there's only two R's left and the R is quite bingo-y, so if I played off AUF, the rack leave of AE double R wouldn't be too bad, and certainly the lack of consonants would reduce the downside of keeping a duplicate R. So is there anywhere for AUF? I note that vowels can go between K and T, but that doesn't help me with this rack. I've got a U for going after the Q, but UL isn't good. The evading front hook has, has, has gone. Wank takes an S and a Y after it. Okay, 18 for my opponent. He hasn't opened up anywhere for few R. Or Alf. What do I have? I have the A which goes above the I, so I could play Afir, keeping U R. 26 points. It's keeping the board open, which I'd quite like since I am behind. But am I missing something better? A fear is quite good, but the U pretty non-bingo-y. 
Still three more to come. Fifteen minutes on my clock. What about a play in column one? Can't see anything. Nothing goes in front of K. Fewer doesn't score enough in column nine to, to beat a fear in row A. 26 points. Okay, well, I haven't drawn another U and I've got a scoring tile in the J. I've got jumper on my rack and jump. I've got thump in column one through the H for a decent score. That possibility is gone. 40 points for my opponent. Now, where can I score? My J can go next to this O of adapters. So I could play Je, keeping MPRT. Not ideal. 34 points. I haven't seen anywhere for my jumper play. I've got up jet on my rack. Can't see anywhere for that. I don't have a vowel for going in front of wed, which is a shame because otherwise, otherwise my J could probably go on this triple letter square. 13 minutes on my clock. Rejump, not good, I don't think. I've got jumps. Well, that might be worth considering because the score's okay. It's 30 points, which is slightly less than je, but the rack leave is tons better. ERT is a much stronger rack leave than four consonants. Also, if my opponent plays down from the J, he might get 30 to 35 points, no big deal, but he'll be leaving the rest of the board alone and he'll be creating a bingo lane. So I like this. Not great. Too many vowels through an I. I would have Arianite. No I's available. I don't think there's a seven here. If there is a bingo, it's likely to be through a consonant. So what's available? There's the L of Gentile. I can't see anything through that. There's the G. Close to Erigeron. If my opponent doesn't use the J, I've got J O E or Rejon. Now, what about Orienter? Yes, fantastic. I've got Orienter and Reorient. Orienta scores more, but it stops one square short of a double word square, and it takes an S, and all four S's are out there, so I might prefer reorient. Now my I can go underneath the Q, so I might have a play beginning P something IL. Great. That's sorted out my bingo dilemma. Orienta has now been blocked. Oh, well, PU isn't good. Fantastic. The dilemma returns. Great. So, I just need to be sure there isn't a bingo through the J, and I don't think there is. Now this is... This is going to score less than Orienta. But I'm now at the position where this is going to put me into a lead I don't want an easy opportunity for my opponent to score 40. However, that's 68. Seventy-six. 
I, my opponent played three tiles, none of them an S. Orienter doesn't have a ton of points in it. This scores eight more points. I'm drawing seven tiles. One of them could easily be an S. I think I've talked myself into playing this. I don't draw an S, but it's quite a nice rack. I've got a scoring tile in the F. If my opponent does stick an S on the end of Orienter, then he's left the G alone, and I could play Egypt through that, which would sort out my Val situation. Okay, well, that S spot hasn't been removed. Now, Egypt is looking increasingly attractive because I'm retaining the F, which can go in front of the Y. And if my opponent sticks an S on the end of Orienters, he's going to be playing in column 12, which is going to leave that spot alone. And this rack leave is quite balanced in terms of vowels and consonants. And 39 points is a good score. Still no S, but I have the, the F for the FY play. However, I may need to use my F to, to go with my X to make fix or fixed. Score situation, I'm now 70 points ahead. Thirty-three for my opponent. He's taken my F spot. That's okay. No big deal there. Now I've got. F oh, I thought I had FedEx. I don't. Where are the hot spots for my X? Ten minutes on my clock. Twenty tiles left. I know that my D can go after Groove, so a possible five-letter play. In row H, but that's not going to burn the F, burn the X rather. What about a play in row C, getting doubled with the X? Also getting doubled. Can't see anything. What about a play beginning EX, a six letter play? Nope, can't see, see one. Flixed is good. Can't see anywhere for that. Well, how annoying. I've, I've actually seen nothing with my X yet. I guess I could play X fill and Lure. That would turn over tiles. Quite important with a blank still out there and four S's. Now onto a Y, I would have Fixed Lee. Clowl not good. Nine minutes on my clock. Wox is good. Can't see a, a play there. I think I would like to play the F with the X. And X fill takes out this S, S, S spot. And it doesn't really create much of an opportunity if my opponent does manage an overlapping bingo play in row N, he'll be opening up row O. So this is a fairly safe play. Are there any high scoring tiles which can go in front of the L? Well, just the B, I think. So that's not particularly dangerous. 34 points is quite a good score, given my lead is only 37. So this will put me into a 70-point lead. So this is this group move does have merit. I guess my opponent could score quite heavily with a four-letter play. However, there's only one D in the bag, and I've got a D for making lured. There may be a better play here. I don't really like this rack leave. I wonder if there's anywhere to play just fix. Now, the E is the only tile which goes after lure, but my F could go in front of, or oh, after Che to make chef. Maybe I should retain the X and play felid. So that's 34. Fellas is also 34. Do I prefer XT or DT? Well, Fellid stops my opponent scoring as highly in row N. It also takes out the scoring spot in column 15. So I think I will I will keep this because I with retaining the X, I retain the possibility of a six letter EX play across here and DT just didn't feel that great of a rack leave. 
I draw no vowels, which is a shame. 11 vowels out there, out of 23 tiles. Okay, so it's quite a dry bag for vowels. But maybe my opponent will be suffering. Now, I, my X can go after the Z, so I could play Tex. I could play next, but that takes an S, which I don't really want to do with two S's and the blank still to come. I could play Sty, but that's opening up column 15. Oh, wow. 86 point bingo by my opponent who goes into the lead just when I've got a, a terrible rack. However, I can play next down here, which I think I have to play up here, otherwise my opponent's going to score well. And in any event, it's a good spot. 39 points with a decent rack leave. Reasonably good. My lead is only 20 points. Remaining tiles quite balanced and there are three scoring tiles there so this looks like it's going to be a close end game just 13 points for my opponent fantastic although the remaining tiles now looking a little bit more bingo-y however i'm ahead by 11 points six minutes on my clock can i score well well i could play caved there's only one tile in the bag, so if I play off a lot of tiles, I'm increasing my chances of going out in one. So caved keeps OST. That's pretty good. But it's not going to score very much. 22 points. What about a play onto this X? So something OX. Socks is all I've got. 35 points. That's keeping the C and the V. So it's 13 more points, but it's leaving a a much more problematic rack leave. I could play Vosis and Chefs. Now that's slightly better because it's playing off five tiles. However, it's also playing off all of my vowels. But it's 35 points, and it's killing the bingo lane in row O. There are vowels on the board. There's the A of emblaze, there's the O of groove, and there's the U of jumps. I've got the D for making grooved. 35 points is good. It's, a, it's, a, it's much nicer to get 35 than the 20-odd for cave. This feels slightly, or well, it feels quite important, those extra points, given that I'm only 11 points ahead. This will put me 46 points ahead. So I'm going to go with, with Vosis. I draw a blank, so I've, sorry, I draw a, a vowel, which is the U. I've got Dort through the A. I've got Doubt through the O, so I can go out. I'm not going to score very much. My opponent may have a playable bingo. But I need to look around for spots where I can score well. Jewett is good. That's probably my highest spot I've seen so far. For 10 points. What about through this O? Can't see anything. The... I can't see anything using the groove hook. So my opponent's got scoring tiles and S's. But I think he'll struggle to score really well and jettison both the scoring tiles. Or really, I think he'll struggle to score enough to win given that I am going out. My lead is 46 points. And unless he bingos, I am going to be playing again. I can't use the 
ZX tiles with the tiles I've got. My opponent can. He could he could play box for 43 points. But then I go out with Jewett and win. Ah, I've got duty and clout. I was just about to comment on my D going after Clow, but my T can go after it. 19 points. Even better. Okay, well, that you didn't look like a great pick from the bag, but I think it is. I don't know if tie-in takes an S, and I mentioned that in case my opponent has a bingo through the A of Emblaze. It would have to begin above it. Okay, 34 points. I I think tie-ins is good. I, I can't be bothered challenging because I, I don't need to and because I think it's good anyway. Duty for 22. Just wait for my opponent to formally end the game, which he does. And the final score, 370 to my opponent, 406 to me. A winning margin of 36 points, so a really close game. Let's see what I missed. It was my opponent to go first. He played Gentile. This was my rack. I played Vading. And jived or gived at E5 would, I think, have been better because it would have avoided the E front hook and retained the A. And scored a lot more. My opponent plays Groove. Quad for 59. H1. Ooh, okay. Well, that almost certainly would have been better than what I did, which was 11. So I sacrificed 48 points. Well, that isn't good. Quad for 59 is a good score, and it's a decent rack leave. I just didn't see it. My opponent plays Wank. This is my rack. And there is no double-double in column 5. So I played Adaptors for 77. Uh, I could have got 5 more points. Playing Hardtop in column 2, but Par does take an S and an, and an O in front, so I think Adaptors is fine. My opponent plays Hongi, and this was a tricky rack, and I played a Fear for 26. And I could have played a Farah. Oh, making Groover. Pretty, pretty nice play. However, it's a Val heavy play. Is it? I'm getting 13 more points. So it's a worse rack leave, I think, than are you. So I think both of those moves are fine. A Farah possibly better, possibly not. And a Fear takes out. Uh, a high a high scoring spot which is also in its favor my opponent plays awa and now i play jumps that looks fine i much prefer moves with good rack leaves now my opponent bingoed phonied rather not bingoed phonied and now i had these two bingos and i went with the higher scoring my opponent plays hurry and then i have egypt for 39 which was a nice score and a decent rack leave. My opponent has a 78 point play. Zydeco through the Y. Difficult to spot. Plays Clue for 33. And now this was a rack I struggled with. And I didn't see Flex underneath the fear. That would have been probably my preferred option if I'd spotted it instead. What did I do? I think I kept the X. I played Felid for 34, which is a comparable score. And I kept the X. My opponent bingos. What else could he have done? That was the only bingo, so Flex, I think, would have killed that. However, with seven consonants, I was grateful to see this E. And text and nexts. Both scored well and sorted the rack out. Horrible pickup for my opponent. 
he plays tie in and now I played Vosis for 35 and there's only one tile in the bag so I want to play off a lot of tiles and I think it's best to keep just the two it's easier to play off three tiles than four and Corslet's only three more points and it's retaining the V so I prefer Vosis now what does my opponent have well no bingo so nothing that's going to win he plays Abu Macy so tie-ins is good and then I have duty to end the game so pretty exciting game especially with my opponent coming back with emblaze and I think then the pickups from the bag were, were quite critical in turn in determining the outcome of the game and I probably got the better of the tiles after that point so my rating now goes up to let me just find it 1999 I've never been above 2000 I've been close I think several times but anyway I need to win another game to get through that so I hope you enjoyed watching that video and I will see you next time